Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you some high-speed video of how the DJI FPV system and an analog goggle respond to a sudden change in light level at the FPV camera. The reason this is important is because how these systems respond, and they do respond very differently, really has an impact on how latency is going to be measured for these systems using the LED and photodiode approach that's been used by MADSTEC and others to measure the latency of FPV systems. So let's jump right into it. So let's look at the DJI system first. So what I think is really interesting is that the first frame where you see the light, it doesn't cover the whole frame. You can see that half of the frame has obviously been captured before the light was turned on and the other half of the frame has been captured after the light was turned on. And I think this is really interesting because what it shows is that the goggles aren't necessarily, the whole screen of the goggle isn't necessarily going bright at the same moment. Sometimes half of the screen can be dim and the other half of the screen can be bright. And then obviously one frame later, the rest of the screen goes bright. And so if you put your photodiode on the part of the screen that goes bright first, you'll get a lower latency measurement by one frame than if you put it on the part of the screen that goes bright second. Now this may seem like a very strange effect, but it's to do with the rolling shutter that's used in the DJI FPV camera. Not all parts of the image are captured at the same moment. A rolling shutter captures the image sequentially, line by line, working down the sensor. So the first half of the image was captured before the light turned on, and then at this moment here, while the sensor was capturing this line, the light turned on and the rest of the sensor was captured after the light had been turned on. Let's look now at an analog system. With the analog system, you can see that the update to the display is much slower than with the digital system. With DJI, we had a really sharp transition between each frame. With the analog system, the screen actually updates in a scanning line moving from the top to the bottom of the screen. The scanning line moves at exactly the right speed so that one full scan of the screen takes 1 60th of a second. So you're getting a new frame 60 times a second. And that exactly matches with the field update rate of the analog video signal coming from the video transmitter. And that's a fundamental difference between analog video and DJI. Analog video arrives and is displayed line by line. DJI digital video is displayed all at once. So what does this mean for latency testing of FPV video systems? Well, I think it means that we should expect a lot of variability test to test, depending on where the scan line is on the screen, where the camera is in its image capture process and where the photodiode is positioned on the goggle display. All of those are going to affect the end-to-end -end latency and it will change every time. So we need to do lots of tests and take the average to find a representative latency for the system. I'm going to be doing a bit more testing like this and I'm also going to be doing the same with the SharkBite system when mine arrives, it's in the mail. So you can expect a more detailed follow-up video in the near future. Thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon, I've actually been able to buy an even nicer high-speed camera to use for these follow-up tests. So I hope the results will be even more interesting. Get subscribed if you don't want to miss that. That's all I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all happy flying.